In Lesson 8, we're going to reuse from Lesson 3 and Lesson 4 and their prerequisites. We're going to consume a company status service from a Windows form. We're going to consume a company status service in ASP.NET. And we're going to create a consumable WFC service. In Part 1, we're going to add a service reference to Lesson 8 in the Windows form. We're going to modify the app config and the resource files. And we're going to create a grid view double click method to call the service. Let's start by opening Windows Explorer, navigate to, to where you saved your, your lesson three, right click it, copy it, and paste it to the same directory. And then rename it to lesson eight. In Visual Studio, let's do File, Open, Project Solution, navigate to lesson eight, and open. Let's rename our solution to lesson eight. And let's rename our namespaces. Let's go back into our form, read the code, and change lesson three to lesson eight. Three to lesson eight. Put our form designer, lesson eight. And program, lesson eight. Before we start, I want to go add a line into this constructor data grid view dot clear selection. So let's run it and make sure it works. Before we proceed, I want to tell you that I created and I'm hosting a WCF web servers on the best C-sharp programmer in the world.com and you're welcome to use it but I can't provide any support and I can't guarantee that it's always going to be there so let's add the web service open add service reference enter in this URL and select go enter namespace Lesson 8, and then click OK. Open your app config file and confirm that you have this service model and this. So let's double click Lesson 8. Let's double click IC status. And let's go and delete all of the lesson threes that we see. We still have lesson three in there because the default namespace and the and the assembly name are lesson three. So if you don't want that to show up in the future, then you need to make the change here before you add the web service reference. So let's close this down and let's go open up our form. So make sure the grid view is highlighted. Right click and select properties. Click on the function, on the events, and scroll down to double-click. 
and double click on that. And let's add this code. Object ID equal data grid view dot current row cells Before we continue, let's go back into lesson 8 and in the lesson 8 and open this I status. We need to remove the lesson 8s as well. Apologies for this, but we have to go back into the service reference again. Go to the IC status, and we have to add lesson 8 back. So let's run it. Let's double click on this row. So it's important whenever you're running this that you have company IDs 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 